Okay guys, let's start assembling. So I just cleaned up all plastic pieces. And the first thing I would need to do is to lubricate the gear from underneath. That's where it will go to the moving the heads. This part here. Okay. So we need to oil this inside and out. So that's where this our heads block will be pushed. Okay. So let me show you. So this pin is here. You see it? So let's add a little lubricant here. And when we install in, head should be down and this line should be pointing in, into this part like that okay now let's me see i'm turning the wheel and head goes up and down again up and down that's how it should work okay So next step, we have to lubricate it on the top in two places. One is this trace here. Uh, this trace will be moving this part uh, which locks the head position on top. And another part we need to lubricate is right here. That's where it will be pushing to open and close the door. Okay. That's about this part. Next, uh, I will lubricate these two places here and here. That's where our white piece will be moving. And it installs like that. Okay? So. And it will work like uh, with, together with this lever. So that's where we need to put a little bit of lubricant right here. So connecting both parts together. Now when we will rotate this. Okay, not fully. like that when we will rotate it will push the heads up and then we'll move this lever you see to fix heads in position with this pin right here and when it goes back it moves this white piece which blocks heads and then lowers the, lowers the heads okay we're done with this part. Next, a little bit of oil here and onto the chair. And we install in this lever. In this position. As it will goes right here and will, so when it's closed, it will push the lower gear, you see? It pushes it right here to connect with the real motor to open the door. Okay, next uh, I will put lubricant a little bit on these two uh, shafts. That's where we will be installing our gears. So the one here. Okay, using the belt. And put it right here. Okay. Now, see proper position. 
of this gear, so this mark lying here on the gear points to this lever. Now we can lock position with this gear. So it locks between black one and this white one, which uh, turns by the motor. Okay, let's me clean up the other parts here. And that's where we will be putting both pieces together now. See, motors are still running well. No issues, no noise. That's good. Uh, make sure that when you put this part, so there is a triangle mark right here, and it should be pointing to this mark on the side. I hope you can see it well. Because uh, this pin here should go just direct between these two cheeks. Okay, now checking everything sits together properly and we're ready to install the screws so the long one goes here and for a short one And I'm starting always from this screw to check that everything can be tied together properly. And the last one is the longest one. done and at this point I would uh, push this belt to the pulley and it should look like that see so it's too close so both pulleys connected right here Okay, we're done with this part. Next, we have to clean these shafts on this part to be able to lubricate them properly. Okay, let me install them in and then we will lubricate these two parts. Now we have to install the screws. Done. So we completed with this part. Now let me replace uh, these two capacitors here on this board and I will get back to you. We will complete an assembly.
it should not take longer than half an hour. See you soon.